So one thing that I've really been trying to do in the past few years is achieve a higher level of contentment. I think a big part of that and that shift for me and what I'm trying to do and have been trying to do is to focus more on the small things in life, like literally the trees outside the window or the smell of fresh air or that feeling when you just go outside first thing in the morning in the fall and it feels a little bit different than every other time of the year and it's special and so i really try and like focus on those small things one thing i've realized recently is that when it comes to what i'm doing inside my house i haven't really had that approach i think that there's a lot of these little things that would bring me a lot of joy if i focused on them but instead i keep focusing on these big things just to give you a few examples, since I came here, I've had blinds that I haven't put up, like drapes. My pampas grasses and different stuff like that has been packed away since I got here and I haven't unpacked it. And it's not that I don't wanna tackle those things, it's that I just feel like I keep focusing on these big things. So this week, in the spirit of the little things in life, I'm going to take that outlook and bring it to inside into what I do and I think overall will give me a good perspective. And yeah, so I'm gonna take you along for the journey. Let's get going. There's a couple productive things I could do, okay? Currently I have my previous upholstered chair that's like with the boucle. One is done and the other one is like half taken apart. Let me show you. Exhibit A. <laughs> um, so it is like half taken apart but not done and I really want to complete it. I'm not going to show you all the details. You already watched how to do this, I think two episodes ago. And maybe by the end of this episode of Homemade Happy, I will also have my second chair completed and that would be such a big win for me. So yeah, let's get going. I just noticed something funny. I got the back piece of foam off and the frame of the chair is different than the other chair that I had. Goodness, <laughs> you just never know what you're getting. It's the same chair. Should be the same frame, but no, but no, that's okay. Oh my God, I look crazy. <laughs> but this is the next step. Now this just needs to dry. Hello, Mr. Deer. Just eating some grass. They are so cute. And one thing I've learned is that like, when there's one, there's usually many. But right now I'm only seeing the one. Although they are really good at like hiding in the trees and stuff. Look how cute they are. Look at the tail just wagging. Just enjoying his little snack of grass. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Bye. So I am just taking a little break now because something really exciting has arrived and I want to put it together. So I'm going to go grab it. My TV's here. I'm looking up from my window. Sun's coming up like the day before. You're like a stone on my pillow. I don't make a sound when I shut the door. So this TV was gifted to me by Hisense. This is by far the biggest TV I've ever gotten, but I know it also comes in a bigger size. So this is 55 inch and it comes in 65 inch as well, I believe, which is just gigantic. 55 inch is huge already, I can tell. So I think we're for now gonna have this set up just like in our bedroom. And then we'll see, maybe I'll figure out a situation in the living room. But for right now, <laughs> in the bedroom. So we're just gonna set it up. I don't have a TV stand or anything, but we're just working with what we have. You guys, it is sitting on the floor right now, but it is so amazing. I can't get over this TV. I am so pumped that I have it. 
this does not even do it justice. Also, I need something that this is gonna go on. I have a feeling it's just gonna go on my work table and that's like a low, that's, doesn't, that's not a good thing. <laughs> um, but I will just say like we spent two hours using this TV, looking at trailers, watching a show, watching part of a movie, and it is amazing. The quality is definitely the best I've ever had in a TV ever. The audio quality is 10 out of 10. It feels like I'm at a movie theater. It's 4K and like ultra just amazing high quality. The like brightness and colors, they're just like perfection. I actually watched one of my YouTube videos on that and the color matched perfectly with my Mac, which wasn't the case with previous TVs I've tested it on. Actually pretty much all TVs I've tested it on, the color is a little bit skewed. So I'm loving this so much, I'm so excited. Oh, and one other amazing thing is that it's synced to my Google Assistant, so like my Google Home and stuff like that. So I can control it by saying, hey Google, but I won't do that because <laughs> otherwise it'll go off. I'm in love with this TV. I just need somewhere that it's gonna go that's, you know, higher and looks better, so. We'll figure that out in time. The next thing I really wanna do is tackle something in my kitchen. So in my last apartment, I had a little coffee and tea station and I loved it so much. It was so cute and so functional. So I wanna do something similar here. I'm gonna, let's just, let's go and I'll, I'll show you. So there is a Canadian dollar store called Dollarama that sells these little like jars with bamboo lids. I had them in my last apartment and I had to donate them when I left. But my local dollar store, also carried them. They come in different sizes. They range in price from like, I think two or 250 to $4. So I got three of them and I want to put sugar and then my two teas in them. That's what I did in my last place. It's super handy and looks pretty. And so it's functional and practical and pretty. So I'm gonna do that because I've been putting it off. My sugar is just, here it is <laughs> on the counter. So I'm gonna put this in the little jars. Okay, so now that we have that done, I want to take a little break and the weather has like cleared up a lot. It looks really nice and pretty outside. So I actually think we're going to go to the driving range, which is undecor related, but it's part of just enjoying the little things in life and little fun activities. This is really for my husband. He likes golfing. I've only hit a golf ball once in my life, like literal, a literal one time. Um, so I won't know what I'm doing, but I think it will still be like a cute little thing to do. Plus it's just nice for him to be able to do it. So let's head on over there. Hopefully we'll have some nice views and relax and take in the small moments. Uh, I have spent the morning editing and now I am in need of a break before doing anything else that is productive. So I thought 
maybe we would go to this like local ice cream shop. I love ice cream. I love treats. I love ice cream specifically, but I also love treats and candies. Um, but yeah, so I thought we would go to this ice cream shop. It is an ice cream shop, but it also sells like local produce and stuff like that. It's really cute. It's actually a five minute walk from the house that I grew up in, like my entire life we lived there. So I, I love this place. It was super nostalgic for me. I went there all the time and um, just lots of memories and stuff like that. So I'm excited to go get some ice cream. It's a nice fun activity before it gets too cold out as well. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm back and the thing I want to do next is actually put up some curtains I have many windows that need curtains and I broke a blind the first like two weeks that I was here so I'm going to focus first on just putting up the curtain in my bedroom I feel like it's gonna take me ages to do I don't know is that just me and that's part of one of the reasons why I've been putting it off but I feel like it'll make a big impact now I got these curtain rods from Giant Tiger, which is like a discount company in Canada. I don't know if they're in the US, but they have like the curtain rods for like $16 or something like that. Super affordable. They look nice, matte black. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the brackets. So for curtains, I really want to do some nice linen-y textured curtains, but without the price tag. And I found these on Amazon. They are like a textured white. Is it blowing that out? Probably, but you see that texture? It looks pretty nice. And I think it's gonna go really well. So I'm just gonna iron them because they are like so wrinkled right now. It's not even funny. So I'm gonna iron them, which you know, I love doing that. And then I'm gonna put them up. I should be the last to know All in this I stand alone Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know such an impact on the whole space so just showing from that direction and then also from this direction that looks so good so in case you're wondering putting up those blinds from start to finish took me two hours including the ironing which is a little bit insane but even though it's like such a little project it makes me feel so good that they're up and they look so good and i'm so glad that i did it and that i took the time so i think that just goes to say that all these little projects all these little things around our homes and in our lives that are so easy to put off to prioritize big things 
Sometimes it's those little things that really make a difference and can really make you feel good. I'm not kidding when I say that I am extremely hard on myself, extremely, for putting off these things and for feeling like I don't have the energy to do them. You know, I'm trying to not be that way and I'm, I guess I'm just sharing this in case you are the same way. Maybe you can also work with me and we can try and not be like that and try and be kinder to ourselves while at the same time still trying to find the time to priorities to prioritize these small things because they really do make an impact. They really do make you feel good. Thank you so much for joining me on this week's episode of Homemade Happy. As always, we're making a happy home, we're making it homemade, and um, we're trying to be happy while we do it. So that's all part of it. Thank you so much for joining. I will see you next week. And I do have some big projects that are coming up as well, so stay tuned. I love you so much. Bye.